Aloha and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World, the show, the show in Honolulu where we talk about veganism and the plant-based diet. I'm coming to you live from the Think Tech Hawaii studio in downtown gorgeous Honolulu. Always a big mahalo to Think Tech Hawaii for making shows like this possible. Uh, it's a gorgeous sunny day today and I'm very, very, very excited about my guest today who is a dear friend of mine a retired professor of Ramapo, sorry, pardon me, Ramapo College and resident scholar of UH at the Center of Disability Studies. Also, my guest, my special guest, is author of her own memoir, Only You, Christine, Only You. It is with great pleasure that I introduce my dear friend, Dr. Christine McConnell, <laughs> to the show. Aloha, Christine. Aloha, <laughs> that was a big introduction. <laughs> it's so wonderful to have you here on the show. Thank you for oh, hello for having me. Pleasure. I was just thinking that I haven't uh, introduced anyone with such a long title before. There's uh, so many things that you have achieved in this lifetime of yours, and I'm really honoured to have you on the show. So thank you so much for being with thank us. You. I'm honored to be with on the show. Oh, thank you, Christine. Thank you. As well. Thank you so much. Um, as we go through uh, your journey, I, I do want to start, Christine, by talking about quickly telling the viewers about how you and I met here in Honolulu. Okay. So I'll let you. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> I'll let you uh, tell us how we met. So how we met was my husband discovered that you were having dinner at your house, and we came to the dinners, and I knew this. Throughout the dinners, I didn't choke at all. And I wow. was thinking to myself, uh -huh. maybe this is the way to go. So you, you said, I'll just interrupt you, uh, excuse me for a moment. You said that you didn't, you didn't choke when you were eating. So you have difficulty swallowing food? Correct. Correct. And so when you came yeah. to my seven course vegan dinner, you, is it, is it right for me to say you were swallowing better than normal? Than you normally do? Absolutely. Okay. There's wow. no question. That's very interesting. About, you know, wonderful. And I, person was a meat also and now I did with eating. Okay. So, so it was an eye opener. That was an eye opener that dinner. So before you came to that dinner, which was roughly six months ago, I think, were you were you eating any plant based food? Were you mainly plant based or were you aware that plant-based food might be easier for you to to swallow and to eat? Honestly, I had no idea. You had no idea, okay. Wow. I usually eat fish and some meat, rarely fish, but I had a quote unquote normal diet okay. and it was healthy so I want to eat a lot to yes wait. absolutely so everybody will, wants yeah. to eat a lot I mean it's one of the pleasures in life yeah. eating so absolutely so you came across this eye-opening <laughs> um, mm. uh, event in your life that has uh, really helped you with your eating. And from that day we met, I have been actually prepping uh, food for you on a weekly basis, all plant-based, 
all organic food that you've been enjoying? Yes. I if I don't eat home mm -hmm. then I would because I know I would get the nutrition I need and I know when I go outside I cannot eat a salad which would really be difficult. Right, to yeah. Eat yeah, I can please. imagine. Christine, I, I wanted to um, tell the viewers about this uh, condition, this medical condition that you have, because this is also new to me, it, and it's called dysphagia. Is that correct? This what this correct. difficulty with swallowing. So, according to, by the way, just a quick disclaimer that the content of this show is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice diagnosis or treatment, always seek advice from your physician or other qualified medical professional with any questions you have regarding a medical condition. We are talking only of Christine's journey and how uh, the plant-based diet is helping with her condition, which is dysphagia. So Christine, um, I did look online to learn more about this because it is new to me as well. And I did I would like to quote uh, something that I found online from the Mayo Clinic, and it just explains dysphagia. So mm -hmm. dysphagia apparently is a difficulty swallowing foods or liquids arising from the throat or esophagus, ranging from mild difficulty to complete and painful blockage. So it's a very that serious is... condition. Correct. Yeah, and I can, I can say mm -hmm. I am so pleased and excited to share this information that perhaps anyone with the same condition might want to consider, you know, at least incorporating mainly a plant-based diet into their lifestyle as it seems to be helping, helping you. Yes, in my personal own experience, okay. not discussing something about Anyone else, but with the person who has cerebral palsy and the and the mm -hmm. it is a wonderful eye opener. Fantastic. And I have a lot more energy. I look better. I'm happier. Wow. I'm like a little kid again. So, so my magic mm -hmm. potion is I'm helping. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love your magic potion. My magic potion. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. So not only, uh, not only is the plant-based food helping with your difficulty with swallowing, but also you feel more energetic. As you said, your skin looks better. You're feeling better. You're happier. So... Uh, you know, hearing that is like music to my ears. I, I'm so happy. Mm. Christine, I, I wanted to show some photos to the viewers um, of some of the food that I prepare for you on a weekly basis. This first slide is not of food that I prepared for you um, personally, but this is the kind of stuff that I'm serving, all plant-based. I do mainly um, seven course dinners and lunches, cooking demos here in Honolulu. Uh, I'm a vegan chef and cooking instructor, so that's some of the food that you can expect to eat at some of my events. And like the one that you attended uh, last year when we first met, my seven course dinner. So you can find more information about me on any of my social media, lillianvegan.com, also my Facebook page, Lillian Vegan, and my YouTube channel, Lillian Vegan, where I have about 200 video recipes, all vegan and plant-based. Uh, recipes, so do check them out. Christine, here can is... I enter? Yes, of course. And I guarantee you will love the cooking classes or the dinners. Mainly, you work very hard. You put all your passion into what you do. And everyone can see that. Oh, thank you so much, Christine. That is 
what mm -hmm. motivates me when I hear that people are enjoying what I'm doing and I'm you know, happy to share this passion mm -hmm. because I know that uh, the plant-based diet will help people feel better and take back some of their health. So Christine, mm -hmm. I want to show the viewers some of the food that I make for you on a weekly basis. Uh, this next slide is of your husband's birthday that you asked me to cook mm -hmm. for. <laughs> and yes. I, I remember you saying that he likes apples, so there is an apple pie in the forefront there all vegan, everything made from scratch. There's a phyllo, phyllo pie there with spinach and my vegan feta cheese, um, some pasta, and then there's a nice big party plate with my some of my vegan cheeses, my cashew brie there and uh, other cheeses. So how did you enjoy that little party plate? Vegan mm, fiesta. Like <laughs> the vegan fiesta. <laughs> Well, no, I will never forget. We opened the bag. We were so surprised Aww. and happy. And I have to tell you a secret. Okay, what's the secret? We didn't share any of the food with <laughs> anyone. Oh, no. Really? You, you, you guys had kept it to yourself? I'm so glad to hear that. Because I, yeah, I, that was a special event and I did want to make it extra special for your husband, Mac, who I must say is an incredible person. I, I see how much he loves you and supports you and takes care of you. So you're very, very blessed to have him in your life. He is my angel. I, I think, I see that he's your angel. Yes. <laughs> Chris, this is a close up. Uh huh. This is a this next slide is a close up of the uh, birthday party plate, just for the viewers to see. I mean, all of this is vegan. There's three types of vegan cashew cheeses there that I made: the cashew brie, there's a pistachio and cranberry and uh, sun dried tomato and herb, lots of little hors d'oeuvres. So there you go. I mean, I hope that. People are starting to to realize that you really don't have to give up much when you go when you go plant based. There's always something yummy to be had. Here's another one, Chris, of the food that I've been preparing for you. This was actually a picture I took from uh, a New Year event or dinner, I should say, that I cooked for you and your family over the holidays. That looks exactly like fish, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> That's my little Japanese bento, but it's it's definitely so not fish. Good. It tastes so good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm it's so like glad. My father was worried that he was going to be hungry after the dinner. And he was so full. I know. A lot of people say that when they first come to my dinners that they always prepare to stop somewhere on the way home to pick something up to eat in case they can't, you know, eat the food. Christine, I, we are going to take a short break and when we come back, we are going to talk about your awesome book, your memoir, your memoir titled Only You, Christine, Only You. So do stay tuned. Uh, we, we'll take a short break and see you after it. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines. I have a TV show based on my book, which is also called Beyond the Lines, and it's about leadership, creating a superior culture of excellence, and building winning teams. We are having a fun drive for Think Tech Hawaii, and please, 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 please help us keep these shows going. Please go on our website, thinktechhawaii.com, to donate. Thank you. Aloha, y'all. My name is Mitch Ewan. I'm from the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute. And I'm the host of Hawaii, the state of clean energy. We're on every Wednesday at 4 o'clock, and we hope that we have interesting uh, guests who talk to us about various energy things that are happening in Hawaii, all the way from PV to windmills to hydrogen, close to my heart, electric buses and electric vehicles. So please dial in every Wednesday at 4 o'clock on Hawaii, the state of clean energy. Aloha.
Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World. I'm your host Lillian Kumik. Thank you for joining us. I'm so excited to have not only my dear friend but a very, very wonderful person, Chris, Dr. Christine McConnell, who is retired professor of Ramapo College and resident scholar of UH at the Center of Disability Studies. Christine McConnell, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. So lovely having you. You know, um, I'm intrigued with this memoir of yours, and I do have to get myself a copy so I can read it. Uh, the, the memoir that you wrote, Christine, in is it 2009 that you wrote this book? That is correct. Okay, and it's titled Only You, Christine, Only You. Can you give me, give us a, a quick idea of where the title came from and what it means? Hi. One something original, something majority original. of majority of people with disabilities who write books about their lives have disability in them, but it doesn't really represent the book. Okay. I always do are the authors, the unpaid Okay. And do things my way. I would kind of free to feel it. I see, I see that. I see everyone. you're a very, um, yes, I see you're a very, you're, you're your own spirit and you live life the way you want, uh, which is, Beautiful to see. I mean, everyone should, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. Christine, I, if you don't mind, I do want to quote something that you wrote from your professional biography, um, which is, okay. it's just written so well. I hope you don't mind me quoting you. So Christine no, writes, I'm at all. thank you. I appreciate it. So Christine, about your book, Only You, Christine, Only You presents the reader with the prism through which we view our own lives and how we interact with others regardless of their abilities and disabilities. She hopes, Christine, you hope to write fi fictional books tailored to adolescents with disabilities. You're in the initial stages of establishing McConnell Associates LLC at the present time, which will develop and customize educational workshops surrounding your memoirs through colleges and universities throughout the nation. Going back to your book, Christine, it says that you wrote this book as a, a conversational literary piece, where throughout yeah. you, you utilize humor to alleviate the distresses that occur in, in painful events. Correct. Mm. I, I humor a lot. Mm -hmm. I develop humor that is great and that is awesome the tool I utilize. Yes, the tool that you utilize. Mm -hmm. So my audience I would know if they can understand me or okay. not. Uh -huh. So uh, I was disordered. and when I taught, I used to say, mm -hmm. laugh at my jokes, even if they're not funny, so I understand that you understand me. Okay. It's interesting because it because. says that you're, you're, in your book, it's, it's like you wrote it in a way that you're having a conversation with the reader. Yes, I am. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm having open dialogue with the reader so they can be intrigued. Right. Well, Christine, I, if you... Wow. Right. If you don't mind, I do want to briefly tell, what, tell the viewers what the book is about. So... You are a Rahway native, Christine, and your memoir is, is, is about reflecting on living and growing up to adulthood with cerebral palsy. 
Um, Correct. Right, and it says that navigating the staircase of oppression associated with a dis disability is the main theme of Only You, Christine, Only You. You touch on your relationships with your parents, two brothers, one sister, and your husband, Mac, and all of your friends. There's a quote here that's interesting. You are quoted as saying, who is really disabled out there? And then I think to myself, do I have the authority to judge anyone? So you later went on to attend Ramapo College of New Jersey, where you attained a BA in uh, psychology and then later attained an MA in counseling from Seton Hall University and also received postmaster credits at Temple University. Christine, where did you get all the time to do all of that? <laughs> I had <don't> no life. <laughs> I had no, no life. <laughs> from 93 to 2009. I, I can imagine you yeah. must have been working, teaching, writing, yeah. studying. So it's just amazing. And um, I, I did read also about this memoir. Was it that your was it your mother that encouraged you to write a book? At a very early age. He always said, you should write a book. Yes. And also, people, doctors I had seen in the past would encourage me. Okay, so you had a lot of encouragement. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, then maybe someone needs to encourage you to write another book. The problem is I can't type. Uh huh. So I'm looking for a typist, and I'm also retired. Yes. And I'm enjoying my retirement. You're enjoying your retirement. As well. Yes, and what a I'm just looking at the background there, Chris, and what a gorgeous uh, place you have. You have chosen to to retire, Honolulu. I mean, Hawaii is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Hawaii and Honolulu, I, Christine, if you don't mind, I do want to talk about a, an event coming up in February. Um, there's a slide okay. with its vegan festival, Thursday, February 20th, this year from 6.30 to 9.30 at the Good Vibe Center, which is in the downtown area. So I will be actually uh, at one of the booths cooking some vegan food and it, uh, there will be several booths there. So that's February 20th. I do hope that um, viewers or anyone who's in the Honolulu area uh, might, who might want to come do, do join us for that festival. Christine, let's have a look at I another. I will try my best to attend. Thank you. I would love for you, you, you and your husband, Mac, to come. Although you get to try my food on a weekly basis. And this is where I was going to show another, mm. another slide. Um, this is actually food that I've cooked for you. I, I usually cook about, about five to six dishes each time. So there's lots of stuff going on there. I always make a soup for you. And I'm sure you've discovered my secret to cooking for you, Christine, that I sneak in so many vegetables. <laughs> and I, that's what I, I love about Thank you. Uh, I can eat vegetables without crossing it back. Up. Yes, I'm so I'm so glad. You know, I hope that anyone who knows anyone that has, you know, difficulty swallowing or eating might really consider what we're talking about. That the plant-based food not only is it easier to swallow, but definitely easier to digest without a doubt. So if it can help you, perhaps it can help you know, other people with similar conditions. So, and I do, I, yes, I do want to say that when you eat out, you don't get that quality food. I mean, it's totally organic. And I do take into consideration the salt and uh, sugar oil that I'm using. So I'm so glad that it's working for you and it's making, well, helping you feel better when you eat. Let's have a look at another slide, Christine. Okay. This is this is one of the recent ones I think from last week. Um, the muffins. What did you think of the little cupcake muffins? <laughs> they were so 
good and fresh and awesome and everything you make is a a, a, a plus. Thank you so much, so, Christine. You know those cupcakes, I snuck in a little bit of liqueur into them. Okay. <laughs> I um so the, the cupcakes are actually they're lemon uh lemon and dried fruit cupcakes there and I put in some yeah a little bit of liqueur just to give them an extra punch lots of um there's some tofu some mock chicken which is made with the soy curls a little bit of a Thai a Thai inspired dish there with some coconut milk Christine the other thing I noticed uh, as I cook for you is that I have to be careful with spices I know that I can't use anything too spicy that you know will irritate that you know irritate that swallow when you're trying to swallow so I have to say thank you to you for helping me um, broaden my horizons as a chef because it's really it's interesting I've always got you in mind when I'm cooking for you and wonder you know how you would appreciate this so thank you to you for that I um no, I'm totally honest. You are the saving my life. You're helping me to live longer. Oh, Chris. That's the plan for all of us to live longer <laughs> and healthier lives. And if I can be a part of that, I, I tell you, that's the only motivation I need it, to hear something like that is just amazing. I do want to, Chris, show your book one more time to the viewers. Um, they can find that. I think it's available on Amazon as well. Only You, Christine, Only You by Christine McConnell. Um, a wonderful book uh, about your journey through life with cerebral palsy. And you do it in a, a humorous way that, you know, makes the reader feel like they're having a conversation with you. So anyone out there who might, might be interested in obtaining a copy, do obtain a copy and get, get Christine to sign it for you if you're ever in Honolulu. <laughs> and if I also believe it's not easy to read it all. So, Keep that in mind. Thank you, Christine. I do have to wrap up. It's been awesome having you on the show. Thank you so much. Uh, look forward to more of Lillian's Vegan World next time. Aloha and have a wonderful day.